back to my channel. It's Yvetta, the owner of Yvetta Made It, your favorite content creator, graphic designer, Canva coach. Okay, we're a Canva coach. <laughs> um, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Um, if you've been here before, y'all already know I don't do long intros, so let's get right into it. As requested, I'm going to do a tutorial on the book, Your Appointment Flyer, that I posted a couple days ago on TikTok and Instagram. Alright, so first thing you want to do is pull up Canva, of course. I don't really have to tell y'all that every time. <laughs> y'all know where we're going. Um, Alright, you're in Canva, you're on the homepage. What we're going to do is click Instagram post, of course. The size for the Instagram post is 1080 by 1080. If you don't know that, Canva tells you the sizing for literally everything. Once that loads, we are going to go ahead and get started. So, the first thing I do, y'all already know, is I set up like a board so that I can get my colors for my color palettes and know um, what colors I want to use in the design. Um, I only used, I used three colors. Yeah, I used three colors in that last one. It may have been four. And then I usually put like the fonts I'm going to use and then um, like the pictures I want to use. Because a lot of times I use a bunch of different elements from Canva and I don't like to have to search for them. And then like once I start recording, you have to look for them again. So I just put them on a page so that I have them right in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and get my board together and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we are back. Um, I went ahead and put the hex codes for the colors that were used in a design in case you are interested on in using those colors. The two fonts that I chose were Formula Bold and Montserrat. I hope I'm saying that right. I really don't have a uh, like a process to choosing fonts. Um, mostly, I choose from the ones that I add that I upload to Canva. I know these two are both in Canva. I just came across them and decided to use them. Um, and we have our model, and that's pretty much all we need for the design because it's mostly text, anyways. So what I'm going to do is add my page that I'm going to be making the flyer on. And I'm going to go ahead and make it that first color. Then after that, I'm going to press R on the keyboard to bring up a rectangle, square, whatever. And start making my stripes. Um, I really don't have a specific size for the stripes. So I'm just going to create that one. Go ahead and change it. The color, the lighter color green color that I use and then just duplicate it across the design leaving a spacing for the first color to make it look like stripes. And I'm just going to keep duplicating it until the canvas is fully covered. So that's the background. Simple. Okay, and then um, if you can see in the original flyer, I have book now behind the uh, the model. I ended up doing that after I uh, created the flyer um, just to add a little bit more so it wouldn't be too plain. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put it on top of this now so I won't have to maneuver behind the model later. What I'm going to do is hit T on the keyboard to bring up text and then I'm just going to type book now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uppercase button to make all of the letters uppercase resize it just a little bit because I have to change the font and it's gonna make it bigger or smaller okay <laughs> and just resize it again to fit the full flyer then what I'm gonna do is go up here to position and center it and then just move it to the top okay 
Okay, and then this is where we bring in one of our other colors, which is this cute peachy color. And after that, I'm just going to duplicate it and then change the color of this one to white. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to hold shift on the keyboard, select both uh, book nows, command copy, command paste. I said command copy, command paste, um, command C to copy, command V to paste. This is on a Mac. And then now you have the book now part. Um, what I also did was put like an overlay over the words so that it wouldn't be too bold behind the model. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go ahead and grab her. And resize the photo to where she fits over the entire thing. And you know what? Let's pause for one second. This is something that I noticed a lot um, when people are designing. They leave their photos like this. You see where the hand is like straight edged from where it, it wasn't in the photo. Her arm wasn't in the photo completely or whatever. People, I've seen a lot of people do this. They just leave the photo like this. No, ma'am. No, no, no. We want to make these look, our designs look as realistic as possible, look as professional as possible. So what we do is just slide it over to the edge. And it looks a mess now because she moved to the back. Um, and see how you can't tell that there's like this straight edge on the photo. Be sure to do that with all your pictures. If you remove the background, a lot of times it may have straight edges because the person is not completely in the picture. Just put them on the side of the flyer. Don't leave them in the middle of the flyer. That's so tacky. It bothers me so much. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Okay, so you see how bold the letters are behind her? Um, all I did was hit R on the keyboard and just create a square and change it to I think it was the darker color and just move it behind her after that I took the transparency down to wherever I wanted it to be um, it just depends on how much you want the letters to show and honestly if you don't want this at all it's not a requirement so okay we pretty much have majority of the flyer done um, next step would be to put the book your appointment portion in front of her. So I'm going to do is press T on the, why does it keep doing it? I promise it every time I'm trying to do a tutorial, Kim starts acting crazy. Okay, I'm just going to hit text over here and add the text this way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the font because I know it's gonna get smaller. Um, let's go ahead and hit uppercase and then we're just gonna type book your appointment or whatever you want on your flyer, book your slides, appointments available, you know, whatever. Um, I hate the spacing on, well, the default spacing. Canva got one more time. <laughs> The default spacing on canvas so what I do is go ahead and turn the spacing down which is the spacing the spacing option on the menu at the top I just turn it down I don't really have a specific number it depends on what font I'm using sometimes it needs a higher number sometimes you can go lower and also I change the format the alignment as well and then I just positioned it right on the side. And it's book your appointment, not appointments. All right. After that, I went ahead and changed the color. And I really wanted it to just be this, but of course you can't see it because it's literally the same colors behind it. So what I did was went into effects and added a border around the letters. I get this question a lot. How do you put the border around letters? You go into effects, you hit splice. 
I turn the offset down so that it'll be lined up with the border and the thickness I just play with it depends on what um, fun I'm using and what type of thickness I'm going for so right here I'm just going to change the color to white for the outline and then I'm going to go back into effects and then just play with the thickness see it's getting thinner as you go this way that's actually cute but I think I did like a thicker font for that one so I'm going to leave it at that um, under book your appointment there's like a I like to think of them as buttons sometimes I make them look like buttons but there's like a uh, rectangle with circle ends so I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit and change it to that peachy color I'm going to go up in here to border style and I'm going to turn corner rounding all the way up. And then you'll notice that there's now a rounded corner instead of the pointed ones. I really like how, okay, how this looks over her eye. That could be something. I just don't know what yet. Um, what we're going to do is just move it down here under book your appointment and center it. And this is where our other font comes in next. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing it, but it is so irritating. Okay. Um, this is where the Montserrat font comes in. I know I'm saying it wrong. I hate saying font names. I don't know where they get those names from. But here we're just going to type in link in bio to book. Link in bio to book. I hope I'm not talking fast. I feel like I'm talking fast, which is why I hate doing tutorials. Because I feel like I rush through stuff. So if, I, if you do feel like I am rushing, just let me know. And I will work on that. But I also try not to make really long videos. Cause I like watching like three hour YouTube videos and stuff like that. But then again, it depends on what it's about. Canva. I want my one. <sighs> okay. I feel like this is further down than the original one. But it's okay. It still looks good. Okay. So what we need now. What the hell is this? Okay, so what we need now is another rectangle. Oh my gosh, stop it. Okay, another rectangle, and we're just going to size it down. Um, This is like caution tape. That's the vibe I get from it. And just change it. I know I did one white. And then you're just going to position it right over here in the corner. And on here is just going to say book your appointment. Just the extra little detail. And grab our text. And then just type book your appointment. Okay. And go ahead and make it uppercase. Um, I did one in white. I think I did a pocket ball. Either way, it's really a preference. And then just line it up. I should have did this all together. I'm going to do the next one all together so that you don't have to play with trying to get it lined up. And I just duplicate it. And line it up with the other one. Uh oh, too far. Okay, and then you take another rectangle. I'm gonna do this one different because it makes more sense to go ahead and get all the lettering and everything on it before rotating it 
and this one is gonna be the peachy color and then I'm just gonna take book your appointment copy it and paste it onto this one and change the color to white okay also on let's go back up here for a second I added a lift effect to the original so I'm gonna do that on here as well All right, and I'm just going to duplicate this one and add another one to it. Okay, I'm going to highlight everything and then move all of it at one time so that it's easier to just do it like this. And I'm just going to position it to the back. Alright, now after that, I'm just going to select all of this up here. Is that three? Yeah. All right. And I'm going to duplicate it and then just move this one down to the bottom. And that is it. So that was just a quick tutorial on how to create the book your appointment flyer. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, I, I will be taking requests for um, YouTube videos. I will link the form in the description box. So if there's a specific topic that you want to go over or a specific tutorial for either Canva or Photoshop, then you can submit your request on that form. With Photoshop, I am not a professional or like an expert or whatever in Photoshop. I just started using Photoshop in January of this year. So if I can't do it, I can't do it. But if it's things like product mockups, labels, flyers, things like that, I can do a tutorial on those. Um, but if you do want to see a specific type of video, please make sure you fill out that form. And I will see you all in the next one.